And a uh, pretty good weekend for everybody from New Prague baseball team playing at Target Field. The next day, the, the kids with the shotguns are down at the gun club uh, winning, winning state championships. Uh, re- really a great event. Cool stuff. Uh, let's wrap up the show with tweets of the week and our Twitter question. Yep, some a few tweets of the week after the baseball tournament ended. Our MSHSL officials Twitter account tweeted this. With the conclusion of the baseball championships, the officiating season has come to a close. Congratulations and much appreciation to the 6,300 officials and judges who serve our students and member schools. And then they threw in a great reminder. Don't forget to register for next year and bring a friend because as we talk about on here a lot, we always need more officials of any age. Uh, as the older officials uh, retire, we need more uh, younger officials. But, you know, if you're 40 years old and you want to become an official, we're glad to have you. So congratulations to all the officials and judges who do so, so many great things throughout the year. This is a tweet from the uh, activities director account at St. Michael Albertville. I saw this this guy I've known for a long time, one of the umpires, and the tweet said, great to see former uh, St. Michael Albertville wrestling coach Dan LaFay working the 3A state championship. Thanks for your dedication to our student athletes. Dan was a wrestling coach for a long time at, at one of the top wrestling schools in the state. I didn't know he was a baseball umpire, and he's not only a baseball umpire, he's a great baseball umpire. If he's working behind the plate at a state championship game, that's a multi-sport uh, coach and official right there. And Eric Martins, our executive director at the high school league, tweeted a picture of the of the current board officers from the board of directors uh, standing at Target Field behind home plate. And he said, honored that our board officers would spend the entire day supporting our student athletes. A great team of President Bonnie Spone Schmaltz. Vice President Greg Craig Anderson and Treasurer Eric Christensen, and that's just a, you know, those three and other board members are at all of our tournaments, and these three were there all day at Target Field handing out awards and and just and just loving every minute of it. It's such an honor for them to do that, and we can't thank those folks enough. Uh, this was tweeted by me at 10:17 uh, p.m. Thursday at Target Field as we were getting towards the end of the year. I, I tweeted as things wind down. I'd say this has been one very memorable year of high school sports and activities. What's your favorite memory? And there were there, at this point, there's like 80 some replies to that tweet. If you want to find that tweet, it was June 20th, 10:17 p.m. at MSHSL John. Go, if you go through these these replies and comments, it's really fun. And people put pictures on there, uh, things that from way last fall right through baseball. Really, really good stuff. And uh, along those lines, one of my summer projects every year, I come up with a top 10 John's Journal stories of the school year. So I'm going to get started on that this week. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll, I'll tweet out links to every one of those while repost those 10 stories. And really looking forward to that. There's always cool things to reflect on as I go back through, through all the all the stories from the year. And this is this has been an exceptional year. And we do have one Twitter question. This is from a, a Wiseacre friend of mine, Cabbage Batch Kid. His name's Stephen Batcher. Uh, works at uh, he work actually works at some of our state tournaments. He does a lot of stats and and media stuff. He's an admissions counselor at St. Mary's and Winona. A good guy, kind of a wise guy, which I like. So I, I put the question on Twitter. If anybody has any comments, questions for this week's podcast, let us know. So he was watching the Women's World Cup, I assume, on TV. He says, when is VAR, capital V, capital A, capital R, when is VAR coming to the MSHSL? And my wise guy response was, well, if VAR stands for very awesome replies on Twitter, it's happening right now, something like that. But, you know, uh, as most people do, I went to the Google that stands for Video Assistant Review. This is apparently a big thing in, in soccer, or football as they call it. It's an official who's looking at uh, video, and he's tied to the head referee on a headset, Video Assistant Review, which is just like you know video re- review we're used to in, in professional sports and you know at our state tournaments and football, basketball, and hockey. So I think we already have VAR, Cabbage Patch Kid. Uh, thanks for the question. Cool stuff. Uh, thanks, John, for handling all the insights and all the reporting that uh, go into high school coverage, which is a it's a difficult in 
<laughs> incredibly intense job. You're covering everything that happens across an entire state, across every sport. You're looking for the best stories and also trying to provide a certain amount of balance between, you know, metro and outstate and big schools and small schools. It's pretty much an impossible job, I know, because I tried to do it myself. Uh, so we appreciate John bringing you all this stuff all school year. Uh, and thanks, to, of course, to pizzabarnprinceton.com for making the program uh, possible. Uh, final thought, John. Yeah, Jim, uh, we're kind of kicking back now. It's summertime in Minnesota. Summers are short, but uh, at the high school league, we're already we're planning for next fall, next winter, next spring. It's it's interesting. I was in a meeting last week, and things just don't stop. There's a lot of stuff that has to get done, you know, in preparation for the next school year, and that's already happening. It's uh, it's amazing. Uh, it slows down for me because there aren't events to go to. But again, like I said, I'm I'm looking at these. I'm going through all the stories I wrote over the last year. I've already got a file of notes for stories to, to do with the next fall, winter, and I've got a couple possibilities for next spring. So it, it, it slows down, but it, uh, the fun doesn't really lit up. It's always good stuff. Uh, thanks to Brandon Morton. Thanks to John Millay. And thanks to everybody who listens to TalkNorth.com, this program, or all the other programs we have. We have the best hosts in the business, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.